It is the story that has everyone talking. Heaven is for real, the New York Times bestseller turned movie which tells the story of a boy who says he knows what heaven is real and what it's like because he's been there. Take a look. Your son had a near-death experience. He saw things that I can't really explain. I lifted up and I looked down. Mom was in one room, you were in another room yelling at God. We're happy to be joined live this morning by the real life Colton Burpo along with his dad Todd. Good morning to you guys. Good morning. Good morning. So glad to have you here. This, everyone's talking about this story and how can you not uh, when you say that you've, you've been to heaven, you've experienced it, you know what, what that's like. Um, Todd, you were, uh, the story is that you had a hard time believing, obviously, something like this when you heard yeah. Colton telling you this. Um, at what point do you re did you realize like, hey, this is, this is not something that's like he's making this up? Well, I think, you know, the first thing he had to do was capture our attention. When he talked about angels singing to him in, in the hospital, that was a curious conversation. But when he said, Dad, I saw you, and then when he could tell me I was in a room by myself yelling at God and he saw me in that room, that captured my attention. No one knew I was in that room. My wife didn't, the doctors didn't, and my son told me all about it. There was no earthly explanation for it, and that's when he captured my attention and we started zeroing in and listening to what he had to say about heaven. And Colton, uh, you were um, you were really young w when this happened, but you also point another piece of evidence that lends to say, hey, this has happened, is the fact that you you met um, someone called Pop. Tell us about that story. I was just listening to it this morning. Well, Pop was my dad's great, he was my dad's grandpa. And when I was in heaven, if I wasn't spending my time with Jesus, I was with him. Yeah, so and you got to, the other story too is that um, you, you came back and you told your mom that, hey, you know, I have two sisters and you, you really only have one here with you. Um, tell us a little bit about that and, um, you know, how do you guys handle any type of criticisms that, you know, this is just, you know, made up, we don't know if it's true. How do you handle that? Well, I will have to say that if you've seen the movie, they let me off easy. Um, my mom exploded when I told her that a baby died in her tummy. And yeah, I looked to my dad for help and he said, you're on your own. Yeah, and how do, you, how do you guys handle any type of criticism that, hey, you know, you're a son of a, a pastor, maybe you've heard how heaven mm -hmm. looks and all of that stuff. How do you handle any type of criticisms like that? Well, I think there's two things we do. The first one is there's so many more people reaching out to us saying, thank you, will you talk about more? So it lets us look to focus on them and look past the critics. But one of my, you know, just down to earth answers for critics, and, and I think people that have questioned, that's okay with us. I question my son, and my son knows what it's like to have his own dad question him. And so to have people question is okay. But I tell them like in the movie, we're in a small town. And the movie shows how a, a small town works. Everybody knows what's going on. It's a community event. And I ask people, where are the people from Imperial that say we invented this? And people go, there aren't any. And that's true because we're telling the truth. How, um, Colton, if there's one thing that you want people to know about your experience in heaven, what would you, you say to them? Um, you know, because everyone obviously wants to know what that's like and what your experience is like. What, what is the one thing that you would tell them about that experience? Well, I would say that God just doesn't want me in heaven. He wants everybody in heaven. So there is a very good chance that everybody can experience heaven. But when I was in heaven, all I saw were people who loved Jesus. Okay, so now it's an opportunity for people to, to get um, the DVD. Um, when you, the first time you guys watched that DVD, was it, um, I saw it on the screen, was it hard for you to watch that? It was a little bit difficult to see people portray you, but at the end of the day when our family talked about it, we were very grateful. Even our, even our nine-year-old had a lot to say about it, but it was all good. It was like, they, they really got this right, and, and that's what we'd like to tell audiences that have read the book and sometimes maybe apprehensive. The movie is a little bit different, but it, it's, it's, it's a good movie. They're going to enjoy it because it stays with the story. Colton and Todd Burpo, thank you guys so much for joining us uh, here on the show. And uh, um, we'll go out and, and grab the DVD for sure. Thank you guys. 
We are giving Thank you away. Very much. We're giving away uh, one of those Heaven Is For Real DVD Blu-rays today. Um, all you have to do to enter the win is head over to our Facebook page. The live chat is already going on. All you have to do is search Studio 62 TV. Click like if you haven't already done so. Heaven is the key word that you need to enter under that live chat thread to get in to win this DVD and Blu-ray. We'll choose a winner after today's show.